welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So, uh, <clears throat> it seems like you're having, uh, you know, you're going through a phase where you're planning what your future is going to be like. Or you're making plans for the future, you're coming up with a strategy on how to approach things. You could be attending a wedding soon, and maybe this is the reason why this uh, relationship has come into focus. Or you not having a relationship has come into focus at the moment, because, you know, you might be attending a wedding. So there might be some kind of event that you are going to be attending soon. So you're trying to take control back of your life again, and this is the reason why you are planning your strategy or making plans for the future. You're coming up, you know, it's very good to have a strategy and a plan. Now, you went through a lot of, uh, you know, feelings of uh, hurt and abandonment after your previous relationship, and there was a lot of disappointment and anger that you have to had to deal with. And maybe this is why you're trying to get your control back in this situation. You've got new hopes. There might be a new prospect coming in. You've got a new idea, a new strategy coming into the future for you and you're going to have to deal with you know all your issues of uh you know you regret maybe grieving for that old relationship and getting over things at the moment so you're going through a big change at the moment you're at the turning point to the crossroads of your life and you're trying to come up with plans and ideas about what you want for the future so that's happening in those two weeks so i'm going to use the romantic tarot for the main read I have shuffled this deck. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got uh, the uh, Knight of Cups over here. So this is an offer that could well be coming in for you here. Now, just be careful. This person might be um, making out to be bigger than they are because you've got this big stone horse in front of you here and this person's giving you this offer. So they might be, uh, you know, presenting themselves as somebody who's larger than life, really. Uh, there might be a little bit of untruth in what they say as well, but this is an offer that comes in. They might be, you know, a genuine person, um, you know, tending to... Um, over-exaggerated situation. So just be aware of that. Uh, you've got uh, them wearing masks. So there, there might be something that they're keeping from you. Uh, make sure you investigate very carefully before you actually, uh, you know, in, uh, accept this offer that is coming in for you. Uh, you know, you can, you've, you can see there's this uh, mask with feathers on them. Uh, the ground over here. So, you know, don't lose your head in this particular situation. Be very logical. Be very, very grounded in how you uh, um, handle this approach. And, you know, sometimes you have to take things that people say with a pinch of salt, and that might be the case in, in this particular scenario. So there is some kind of offer coming in for you. It might be uh, from a water sign person. So it could be Cancer, Leo, um, Cancer, uh, Scorpio, or uh, Pisces uh, energy coming in over there. But there's definitely that offer coming in for you there. Now, you have been socializing quite a bit, or you will be socializing quite a bit. And there is that offer coming in over here. So this is somebody that you're going to meet on that social scene. Uh, so going out for, you know, with groups of people, having a good time, might actually be the thing that allows this person to make their approach. Now, it looks like you've ended old cycles over here. Big changes are coming in for you. Um, you know, the 10, uh, the Wheel of Fortune coming in. So um, this is going to be almost, um, you know, um, comic this particular uh, introduction to this particular person you know you end up maybe being in a situation you would have never been in before and this is how this offer comes in for you there's something comic about it as well so it, it looks like maybe it's a relationship that needs uh, to be started or something that needs to be done on a karmic level as well so the, in the past the relationship that you were in has caused you a lot of anxiety a lot of stress and also it was not what it appeared to be so whatever you were seeing whatever you thought the relationship was was really not what it appeared to be so she's looking in the mirror whatever it's reflecting back is not really what's going on so maybe there was a lot of lies and deception that went on over there things appeared to be what they weren't and uh, this is uh, maybe what happened in that particular relationship you have been uh, single it seems for a little while though you've got that queen of rods over there 
uh, it seems like you've, uh, you know, just been focusing on yourself, taking control of that situation, and maybe you've even abandoned all kinds of relationships because she's got this roses as well as this uh, walking cane and hat on the ground. So it seems like you know she doesn't, she's not been really interested in any kind of offers that has come in. She's just focusing on herself, just content with her own company, and maybe this is how you have been uh, recently. So on your mind, you do want to go out, you do want to have a good time, and you are hoping for some kind of a person to come in who takes you, somebody's exciting. You've got this page of rods over here, so you want that exciting, dynamic person to come in, take you out in the town, uh, you know, wine and dine you kind of thing uh, going on for you. So it seems like you do want that kind of relationship to come in. Going into the future, you've got that seven of swords over here, so you are feeling very lonely, very isolated. Maybe, you know, you, you want people to, you want to socialize with people, but there's nobody around to have dinner with this woman. She's sitting there very much by herself after having laid the dinner table. So maybe the old friends left with the old relationship and now you find yourself all by your, all alone uh, with that seven of swords and feeling very, very isolated uh, after what has gone through. So, you know, there are some social invitations coming out uh, for you now. So the Wheel of Fortune coming to change things. So you are going to be coming out of this feeling of loneliness uh, and it looks like there's an offer that is coming in. Now, whatever that past relationship is, you need to let it go. There seems like there will be somebody that comes in over here that is going to show interest in, in you. But if you're still concentrating and focusing on that old relationship, you're not going to see this offer that comes in. So, or this person may not even make an approach. So you need to actually let go of that past relationship and uh, in order for you to bring in the new. Now, uh, you've got that two of cups. So, uh, you know, this new relationship that comes in, maybe this person is, um, because this is, you know, the beginning of something. You do have that soul connection with this particular person, this new offer that comes in. However, both of you are wearing masks. So you hiding things and they're hiding things. And that could end up, you know, causing that relationship to break down. You've got these... Uh, uh, pails or uh, buckets of water spilt on the ground over here. So it's very important if you're going to start a brand new relationship to be open and upfront, say it as it is, and don't hide things. You need to have a heart to heart and be quite honest with this person. Um, and also, you know, just watch out if they're lying about anything, you need to expose that. Because with this Knight of Cups, he's also wearing a mask. So they might be hiding something over here. And in this particular Two of Cups, starting a relationship where you're wearing a mask as well, where you're not revealing everything. But they're also wearing a mask too. So two cards with a mask on uh, the person approaching means that, you know, just watch out. They might be uh, keeping something hidden from you. And uh, it's important that all of this uh, comes to light before you start anything long term. So you've got the Queen of Cups in your hopes and fears. So you are spending a lot of time by yourself. And like I said, you are wearing a mask from time to time. Maybe you're feeling very, very emotional. And you're also scared of being alone as well. So you're worried, uh, you know, maybe this is what is spurring you on to even get yourself into a relationship. Now, going into the future, you can see you're being very, very focused on work over here. There are people that admire you on the work front, but you seem to be very, very focused on that work. You've got that Three of Pentacles over here, and that is, seems to be what your focus is on. It looks like there's that new relationship coming in. So it might be a very sexual relationship that comes in because it's the Ace of Rods. Uh, it might, you know last for a while as well. So it might end up turning into something that's long term, but it f initially starts off as something very physical as well. And this person might be a fire sign person or, uh, you know, this one was a water. So it could be fire or water, either sign, or it might just be the energy of this particular person. So they're very, very dynamic. Uh, they like to be very bold. They like to, you know, it's quick moves, uh, big decisions. Um, so they, they're sending you some kind of message or some kind of invitation. Uh, and they're very attractive, uh, very energetic, um, you know, and um, maybe they just love to travel a lot as well. Very energetic people. So it, like I said, it could be a fire sign person uh, with uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. On the other hand, it could be a water sign person. So just be careful. Uh, you know, this person's wearing masks. Um, so um, you know, there could be two relationships coming in over here. But, you know, what, what it is is to watch out for any kind of things that are being kept hidden. Don't be swept off your feet so that you lose your head and you don't actually think uh, before you make decisions. And, you know, try and be very logical. Uh, you know, it, it seems like you might be very physically attracted to this person with this ace of rods over here. Uh, but make sure that you're keeping your head on your shoulders before you embark in a new relationship. Uh, if there's anything that's going to be deceptive, make sure you expose it or research about it before you start that relationship so you don't get hurt in the future. So I'm going to just draw some cards from the... Uh, 
Archangel Power Tarot for the uh, Oracle read. <coughs> You've got the Queen of Michael over here. So this is probably you sitting alone, feeling very depressed and uh, very isolated uh, from everybody else. So you know exactly what you want to do, the benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than your relationships. Now you have been focusing on your career quite a bit. Um, maybe this is what has been happening. You've been very focused on, the, on your career and that's why uh, you haven't focused on relationships and that's made you feel very lonely and very isolated. And maybe this is the reason why you want a relationship. Now you've got uh, the Four of Gabriel over here for time to celebrate, release yourself from burdensome situations. Now the Four of Gabriel says that, you know, uh, it's the Four of Rods, so you're meeting, uh, maybe you're going to be meeting somebody through uh, the social events that come along. So with these social invitations that come in, bring in this new invitation, this new offer that comes in. Oh, the Four of Rods is about collaborating with a lot, a lot of people. So it could be a lot of foreign people that you're meeting. You could be even, uh, you know, meeting somebody that is foreign that uh, to you, um, you know, and starting a relationship with that person. It could end up in something long term. This is the wedding or the marriage card in the deck. And it's a card of stability. So it could end up being starting off as a very physical relationship relationship initially, but then ending up in something very stable that ends in some kind of committed relationship. You've got the nine of Ariel over here. So having gone through very difficult times, very, you know, a, a lot of problems, you've got a lot of mountains over here. Uh, your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. So this is the nine of Ariel. You're still acting very independently, still very, very focused on the work front of things. Um, but also the difficult difficulties are now over. You are now finished with that particular cycle, especially even with that ten of um, the Wheel of Fortune is the end of that cycle. It's a 10, it's the end of the cycle. And the 9, enjoying your independence, enjoying your, um, you know, your freedom as well, uh, but also doing things for yourself. So you are quite self-made, you're quite independent of everybody else's opinion. Now, um, but you are feeling very lonely and it looks like you are waiting for that relationship to come in and it looks like it will. Uh, you know, it, and it, like I said, it might start off as something physical, but it might end up as being something committed because you've got that four of Gabriel over there. So you are feeling pretty lonely over there and that relationship is going to be coming in for you. Like I said, starting off something physical and then ending off probably in something long term. Now let go of that past and if you start off a relationship, be honest and open and truthful about whatever's going on uh, and, you know, uh, also, find out if this person is hiding anything from you. Uh, you don't want any secrets because those tend to come in and bite you uh, on the bottom if you're not careful about it. So uh, it's a need for open, openness, honesty, and um, you know, a need to be very truthful about how you feel about things. So be upfront right from the beginning. And uh, try not to lose your head. Think and plan. Be very careful how you do things tread carefully. <laughs> so uh, I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.